What in a kiss? In 2003, we acted in a play that was particularly significant for us because we were surprisingly cast against type. Before that, we so often played singing heroes like Jose Rizzo, Emilio Aguinaldo and Jesus Christ, without a doubt coveted characters for any actor to portray and we were convinced we would eventually die a martyr. But this article isn't about us, we were just lucky to be where we were at the time. After all, which actor was not once again? Directed by Monique Wilson, who is known for her collaborative approach as she is for her exacting standards. Moreover, acting alongside some of our personal favorites, Beth No Hyperbole, Tommy Montes, Jamie Wilson and then promising movie rabbi Ganaven had earned us some grabbing rights. The play was Diana Sunstock Dick, two lead characters in its off-Broadway debut were originated by Sandra Ah, Gray, Anatomy, Dylan Geek, and Jessica Hett. Breaking Bad, special. We were all thrilled to come together in support of the coming out of sorts of two of Philippine Theater's most exciting interviews, casting Jenny Gamora and Missy Mariner in the lead roles was, simply put, a stroke of genius. In new voices taking the Diana Sun selectable drama soft kiss, we were thrilled to get cast in the role of Detective Cole, who's called in to investigate a despicable hate crime. When Rabbi couldn't do the show's extended run, we were tasked to quickly learn a second role, Peter. You can imagine how alternately scary and exciting that was for an actor raring to earn his best right. Devoid of its seems confessionalistic possibility, the play examines the life or death repercussions of an innocent kid shared by two women, Callie, Jenny Jamora, and Sarah, Missy Marimara. That leads to a violent attack. Sixteen years later, Jenny and Missy are pulling a few good to be missed switcheroo for the play date performance run at Power Mass Center Spotlight, Circuit Naked Eye from July 12, minus 21. Call 0915-835-9210 for inquiries. Under the helm of Ed Lapson Jr., Missy plays Callie, while Jenny takes on the role of Sarah. Joining them on stage are, Tariq L.K., Gag Mercado, Robbie Guevara, Jay Valencia Glorioso and Jay Dashney Catania. Asked about the relevance of the play so many years after its first staging in Manila, Jenny Ashley notes, violence against women and members of the community is still happening. Just about a month ago, a lesbian couple was beaten up and, ironically, it was almost the same situation left square bracket as the one being depicted in the playwright square bracket of women, being sexualized because of the act of kissing. When they refused to give that to the man talking them, they got physically beaten for it. But physical actions aren't the only ones that lead to violence. Jenny points out, there's also violence committed in statements like those of the CFC dash cult couple for Christ Foundation for Family and Life, a blind dismissal of an entire community, and a refusal to see the human rights, violations committed against them. The play and its themes are relevant as ever, Missy concurs. There's still stigma and violence against the rainbow community. It's even sadder that lesbians and bisexual women are underrepresented in media. If you set these contentious discussions aside, there's also the fact that Stop Kiss is a wonderfully written love story. How did the role switch come about? It was Jenny's idea, Missy recalled. She noted that we were at this point in our acting journey where a switch would be interesting to do. I love a good challenge, and since that scared me to death, I agreed to do it. The revival has also allowed Missy to look at her life in retrospect, and how she has even grown as a person since. We were so young in the production's premiere performance in 2003, and we didn't know anything at all. Missy says, laughing. Looking back, the innocent or should I say naivete was what made it work, because Callie and Sarah didn't know anything, either. They were discovering things in the moment. But that first staging taught me a technique in performance, and instilled in me a desire to mine the text for deeper meaning. Diana Sun is a genius at subtle wordplay and double, in Tendre. And when the lesbian community watched, they laughed at so many parts I didn't know were funny. It's a fascinating eye-opener for worlds beyond my own. After the first staging, I tried my best to see for myself what Callie and Sarah's lips were like, 
I went to Henrietta to New York. Then I got to walk around St. Louis, Missouri. Now I want to ride a helicopter, laugh. These cities are scary and lonely, and they can suck you into the job you just do to get by. But you are still so full of hope for genuine connection, and the longing to make a difference in another person's life. Between Sarah and Callie, which is more challenging and fun to have days, I found Callie more challenging to bring to life, because Sarah is really close to my personality, Missy said. And because, Callie's on stage twice as long, with all the emotional shifts between teams. Callie is so different from Sarah, and it's fascinating to see the story from this point of view. It's also so much fun to find Callie differently from how Jenny portrayed her 16 years ago, and to see how Jenny brings Sarah to life this time around. Jenny agrees, I think Callie is still more challenging to play, not only because she's got 99% stage time, but also because she's shifting from what has been times a very emotionally different present to past, and then back again. Sarah's challenge is about bringing in a detailed previous circumstance to how she behaves in the present scene. The life she left in three blues hangs over her all the time, and it drives her. And then, when the embodiment of that former life is brought on stage in the form of her, F. Squeeze Peter, her faculties to communicate are all taken away from her. It's a great acting challenge still. For theater aficionados, you don't want to miss Scott Kiss and how his two rooms promising and now season lead actresses bring Callie and Sarah's share stories to life, now in wider and more open portrayals. Take our words for it, when you see the play's indelible final frame, you'll know just what we mean. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.